Hi fellows! In this video, I will show you how to create an animation with Iliad. Please note this feature is only available since version 0.6, released in January 2021. In the Content Brother, make a right-click and go to the submenu Iliad and select the asset Flipbook. I will name this asset. If I double-click on this asset, it will open Paper 2D, uh, which is the default editor to open Flipbooks in Unreal Engine. If I make a right-click on the asset and I choose to edit with Iliad, it will open Iliad Flipbook Editor. Iliad Flipbook Editor is very similar to Iliad Texture Editor. You will find the same panels such as the brush selector, color selectors, tools, etc. By default, the layer stack is empty because our Flipbook does not contain any keyframe yet. Let's fix that and create a new keyframe. To do so, go to the timeline at the bottom and click on the button Add Keyframe. This panel is exactly the same as the one used to create a texture 2D. Actually, adding a new keyframe shall create two elements, a texture 2D and a sprite. So I will use a 9020 by 1080 ratio and I use a white background. I click on Create Asset and we can see it adds one keyframe in the timeline and one layer in the layer stack. To prevent any mistakes on the white background, I will add a new layer on top before making my first drawing. I can use the diamond handle to increase the duration of my keyframe and let's make it last two frames. Now, if I want to add a new keyframe, I can either click again on Add Keyframe or I can duplicate current frame to keep the same settings. To do so, I make a right click on my current keyframe and select Duplicate Keyframe. I will clear the content of my new keyframe and I will use the arrows of my keyboard to scrub in the timeline before drawing the second frame. Let's repeat the process several times to make an animation. We can now use the remote control to play the animation forward and backward. If you need to modify the timing of your animation, you can use the diamond handles, as I said previously. Increasing the duration will push the next keyframe forward and decreasing duration will push the next keyframe backward. You can also use the triangle handle to adapt the timing between two keyframes without changing the total duration of the animation. You can also drag and drop keyframes to easily change their order. If we leave Iliad Flipbook Editor to go back to the Cotton Brother, we will notice that duplicating or adding keyframes created a batch of textures and sprites at the root of the asset Flipbook. Each asset can be opened separately on their respective editors and the flipbook can be dragged and dropped in Unreal Engine viewport. To conclude this video, let's have a look to the shortcuts you can use with Iliad Flipbook Editor. Just like any shortcut in Unreal Engine, they are available in the engine's preferences. Go to the Keyboard Shortcuts section and search for Iliad to find all the available options. One very last thing, contrary to most animation tools on the market, Iliad offers a very unique feature, uh, which is the ability to play the flipbook while drawing on a single frame. That's all for today. Leave a comment if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and feel free to join us on Discord to share your feedback on Iliad. Bye!